Welcome to the endless news of Binwook Radio, Television Station and Newspaper. Now following are the hotline for today. I'm Ngoc Thuy. Binwook reveals 20 years of policies gratis implementations. Nearly 100 million Vietnam Dong raised for believed family of Jun Tan's lay victim. Vice Minister trusts national meeting on COVID-19 revulsion control. Royal Treasures unveils in Hanoi. Ladies and gentlemen, Binfoot Florians have a conference recently to reveal 20 years policy credits implementation for the poor and policies beneficiary under a government decree dated October 4, 2002. The Binfoot branch of the Bank for Social Policies provided about 490,000 households with 8.4 trillion Vietnam dong in total during the period. The branch helped poor families and policies beneficiaries take out loans, enabling 53,400 households to escape from poverty and 30,500 others to relieve their near-poor status. Its efforts also created stable jobs for nearly 35,000 workers, provided loans to some 42,000 students to cover their tuition fees, and built around 276,000 clean water works and toilets, 3,700 houses for the poor, and over 200 social housing units. Many organizations and individuals making outstanding achievements over the past two decades in implementing the policies were honored by ministries, central agencies, the Vietnam Bank for Social Policy, and the Bing First Provincial People's Committee. To eat the pass of the family of a victim of a serious house fight in Hollywood Wars in Minhung Commune, Chun Han Dietrich, on September 11, that killed one young child, the Dietrich Women's Union ran for support to come from donors. After the incident, Minh Hung authorities promptly presented 20 million Vietnam dong to the bereaved family. The Women's Unions of Chun Thang District called on members and donors to support the victim's family, raising more than 87 million Vietnam dong, with the aim of easing their pain and loss and helping them get through the difficulties. On the early morning of September 11, a fire broke out in Hamlet's One in Minh Hung Commune, taking the life of a sick yellow girl, injuring two family members and destroying everything in the home. Traffic police in Binh Phu's province have held an event to promote road traffic laws among more than 1,600 students at the Hong Vương High School in Dong Sai City. During the flag raising ceremonies at the start of the week, representatives from the traffic police department updated students and teachers on road traffic accidents in the province in recent years. They were also informed of the basic elements of the law on road traffic and new rules in decrease number 123 from the government, amending and supplementing penalties for violations of road rules and other misconduct by students when on the road. Lieutenant Colonel Nguyen Trung An, head of Team 2 of the Bing Phuc Traffic Police Department, said the event will help students pick up useful information and understand the basic elements of the law on road traffic to safely commute to school. This is the first session hosted by the department in the new academic year, he said, adding that the department will continue to work with local schools to host similar events in order to limit traffic accidents involving children. France Minister Phạm Minh Chính on September 13 trust the 17th meeting of the National Steering Committee for COVID-19 prevention and controls with gathered participants from the 63 provinces and cities across the countries. Addressing the virtual session, Ching, who is also head of the committee, highlighted the importance of issuing the government's resolution on making Vietnam respond to the pandemic more flexible. He said it was key to the work and to social economic recovery and development. Given the current complicated developments of the pandemic, the government leader requested competence agencies and localities to come up with measures to tackle a state of neglect as well as low vaccination progress. The committees warned of the pandemic's unpredictable developments in the world and underscored the need to boost vaccination, still a vital solution. 
According to a report of the committees of the function, in the past seven days from September 5th to 11th, an average of about 2,900 new cases were posted daily, with the number of infections being on the rise again. In addition to a globally renowned ST25 pregnant rice, Vietnam's ST24 rice light has also received five star certification. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development has presented National One Commute One Product or All Cove certification to 20 high quality Vietnamese products, including SD24 Fragrant Rice. Three years after winning second prize at the World Best Rice Contest, SD24 Fragrant Rice has now secured five star certification. This provides motivation for relevant units and businesses to promote local specialties while attracting more investors and generating jobs in rural areas. Hanoi has selected 29 outstanding artifacts from among the millions of us at Tanglong Imperial Citadels to introduce to the public. On display are important utensils and items for use from daily life to banquets of the emperor and the court on important occasions. This vision has also introduced several pieces of jewelry, utensils decorated in gold, and utensils and swords symbolizing power or imperial orders. In particular, this is the first time 3D mapping projection technology will stimulate the unique patterns of artifacts has been introduced so that visitors can better recognize the beauty and elegance of the ceramics used at Tanglong Royal Palace. The artifacts are divided into three exhibition spaces, a space to introduce artifacts from dynasties and a space for artifacts introduced to the public for the first time, such as the largest Chuan Dynasty terracotta poles ever and a green animal architecture model from the early Lei Dynasty. Vietnam has been leading in the world's 10 most incredible destinations with a surprisingly trip to visit by Canadians travel magazine The Travel, along with Laos and Indonesia. Vietnam is among the cheapest countries to visit and among the most underrated, the magazine said. Eating local dishes will only cost you a few dollars per meal, and a cup of iced coffee is less than a dollar. The drink has become an indispensable part of Vietnamese daily life in recent years, with millions starting their day with a cough in the morning. The travel also recommended tourists to explore Vietnam by bus or train with cheap fares. If visitors don't mind slow and long-distance travel, then buses and trains around Vietnam are among the most affordable in the world, making it easy to explore all of this beautiful country. Through the many ups and downs of history, the Aoyai traditional long dress has been imprinted on the demise of Vietnamese at the national outfit. Meanwhile, the Aoyai Ngu Thanh fights love long dress, with it considered the foreigners to the Aoyai has fallen into oblivion. In 2020, Images of public servants wearing five flap long dresses at work went viral on social media, and the wearers received a degree of criticism. Many young people felt the outfits were old-fashioned and not appropriate for the workplace. The five panel outside took shape in the mid-18th century in the way court of large Nguyen Phu Quat. Beyond nobility, people from all walks of life wore the five flap long dress. As time passed, the traditional outfit was replaced by a more convenient version. The five flap outside has five buttons, symbolizing the five constant virtues, kindness, decorum, uprightness, wisdom, and faithfulness. Are the five moral obligations, king and subject, father and child, husband and wife, brothers and sisters, and friends. The outside is not only the national outfit, but also has rich historical and cultural values. The way it is worn, especially the outside for men, demonstrates characteristics such as modesty, discretion, and death of the wearer. That's all for news today. Time for watching BBTV News. Goodbye and see you next time.